They're still on. Ha ha! Ah, here we go now. My first adventure into 3D. Hmm. Fasten seat belts. Interesting title. Funny thing, great run of airplane pictures lately. Never fly myself. My arms get tired. It's a little, little joke, and I say it's very little too. Oh, this 3D is extraordinary. Oh, you can actually feel the plane taking off. Hey, neighbor. Oh, shh, shh. I have the picture. Well, I'm a cop. A cop? <laughs> That's a good plot. A cop? Yes, ma'am. What do you want? A man. Me too. Yes, ma'am. Probably on the trail of some bank teller with a briefcase full of stolen Liberty bonds. Is he wearing a black hat? Yes, ma'am. Glasses? Yes, ma'am. Briefcase? Yes, ma'am. You seen him? No, ma'am. Thanks, ma'am. I'll find him because I'm a cop. Oh, oh, this realism. I feel he might reach out and grab me. Or is it you he's after? Uh-oh. He forgot his briefcase. <laughs> Gotta find him. I hate to miss any of the picture, but there might be something important in it. Elevator to lobby. <laughs> Fine. Lobby, please. Watch those sudden stops, boy. Somebody could get hurt. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big place. <laughs> They've got their Christmas decorations up already. Well, that's smart of them. Confounded air conditioning, never adjusted right. It's blowing a gale. Confounded, somebody better nail that down. You take a nasty fall from a loose board. You'll get sued. Lawsuit. Blows up the whole thing at the end of it. Well, he's he's not in here. I'll uh, I'll try the smoking lounge. No, not television. They'll run it into the ground. Smoking lounge. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Uh, here we are. I say, anybody in there? They seem to be going in circles. This isn't the smoking lounge. Must be the fourth or fifth balcony. Oh, that wide screen. And no glasses. 
Well, I think I'd better turn this in at the box office and get back to the picture. I'm turning back, Jim. There's something wrong with the controls. You're, you're mistaken, officer. It's it's like I said. I, I didn't have a briefcase. Never had one. No, no, never, never. I, I wouldn't know the briefcase if I saw it. Ah, there you are, neighbor. Here's your briefcase. No thanks. Glad to do it any time. Now, the picture. <laughs> Every thrill, pack minute of it. Only one complaint: no cartoon. Oh, uh, do you ever run those cartoons about that ridiculous little nearsighted old man? You know the one that goes, <laughs> "Oh, he must be <laughs> anything." <laughs> Mr. Magoo. Bye-bye. Hang on, Waldo. I'm gonna give it full throttle. Oh, what power. How did you like that, boy? Oh, Waldo, no use throwing a tantrum. Lad is taking it hard. He's not well. He's sick, 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 sick. Watch this, Waldo. See how she cornered. Okay, Pop. Pull over. Solid sheet of water. <laughs> Doesn't leak a drop. Snug as a little bug in a rug, Waldo. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm not up in that blimp in this weather. No, sir. I want my feet on dry land. My Beverly Hills has gone to pot. Shameful. Look at the way they let the old Bacchus mansion run down. Ah! Where are we? We hit a sudden downpour, Waldo. <laughs> Good for the crops. Uh oh. Uh, this all electric car makes me feel like I'm riding a 
uh, fishbowl. Fishbowl, indeed. Now oh, this car gives the passengers perfect vision of the road. Now look at those low modern cars. No windshields at all. Can't see where they're going. Hey, are you trying to kill us? Blind idiot. Just as I was saying, Waldo, faulty vision. <laughs> Oh, oh, no! Look at that. They've gone too far with the Cadillac this year. It's getting stuffy in here, Oink. Roll down the window. Nonsense, Waldo. No exhaust fumes in this electric car. Sorry, no riders. Oh, I picked the poor old guy up, Unc. Poor Waldo. Did you see that fur coat he was wearing? I <laughs> tell you. Probably one of those eccentric millionaires trying to save a dime on car fare. Uh, hey, Unc, somebody wants to pass. I hear him, Waldo. Let him pass. Well, come on. Come on. Now, uh, uh, what are you going to do, what? I hate to go out in this nasty weather, but I'm going to give that horn-happy sapman a piece of my mind. Tidiness, I find it beneath my dignity to speak with you. Good day, sir. 